Hi guys, this is another awesome shed in the Tramway Museum. At St Kilda. Now there is a video playing in the background. You may be able to hear that. But that doesn't matter. I'm actually going to put a link to that video. It tells you all about the networks. And I am just going to walk you through here, show you more of the amazing the thing I'm always going on about is the quality. This is 111, the cool number. Okay, so that's what you're listening to here. And that tells you about all the lines, how they were all built up, and then they took them all down. Unlike Melbourne, who kept a lot of its systems going, Adelaide retained one to Glenelg, and then I think in about 2007, <laughs> it started building them again. Crazy, isn't it? And just in case this is the only video you watch out of this set, this place is amazing. If you get the chance to come down here, it's $7 entry concession, $10 per person and they do have a family ticket. And you get to go on as many tram rides as you want, but they're not just around here. They go down to the St Kilda Playground. If I say understand it, it's because I just didn't know this. This is a National Trust, this one. And it's beautiful, it's been restored. Mine just there, as it says it's down there. So you've walked through that one. Now we're looking back. That's 111 over there. This is type 282. That was H type 362. Does that say F1 to you? So yes, they all had some history. And it is beautiful. I was saying in one of the other videos, a young teenager's teenager or teenagers started this museum and nobody would give them any land and they ended up out here at St Kilda. But how awesome is that? Look at that um, stone glass to have worked out in the end that they can catch the tram all the way down to the St Kilda playground, just like a little beach. I'll take you there one day, guys, I promise. And it returns, you can stay and play in the playground for a while, or you can hop back on it in about three minutes. It's only Sundays from 12 to five. This is an old one, isn't it? Would you like to have a look inside? We'll have a look at what it is first. Ballarat 21. One of Adelaide's earliest cars being built in 1909 by Duncan and Fraser as A-Type number 10. Sold to the State Electric Electricity Commission of Victoria in 1936 for one man operation. Its seating capacity was reduced from 40 to 32 passengers, but it was fitted with two more powerful 65 horsepower GE 201 motors and it continued to run until the Ballarat tramways closed in 1971. It is presented as its last ran, run in Ballarat. Okay. We're going in. Oh. It's just amazing. You're allowed in them, you're allowed on them, you're allowed to ting their bells. Some of them, not all of them. my favorite sounds here and if you do go on the tram rides there's three trams to pick from 
Uh, I love that because it's some of them are older ones and they don't have um, windows. So let's say briquette hot water. Well, you can see it. Hang on. Cheapest, hottest, mostest. <laughs> Leave the light on for a bit. Having a bit of a temper tantrum, but that's okay. These wooden windows will slide up and down. Put your used tickets there. And it's a wonderful place. Should be very proud of themselves. Teenagers that started it. No one wanted to know about it. And they persisted and made this happen. And I, for one, am very, very grateful. So we've come back down through the middle, and I will just show you the extent of history that it is in this place. It starts here and it goes all the way down that wall in all three of these sheds. Thanks heaps for joining me guys. I'll see you very soon.